Hey guys, so I'm really excited for you to see tonight's video. I wanted to just come on here and do a little bit of an intro. Um, normally I just lead right into the Monday footage, but I wanted to tell you guys about something special that we have going on. Um, one of the things that I get asked about a lot in relation to what I do is um, how is it different from other online personal training? How is it different from a DVD program? Um, how is it different from everything else I've ever done? And it is really hard to show people without you actually experiencing it. So I've decided to open up 3 fitness and let you guys experience it for a week one week all access pass so what we're doing is we're calling it 3s rush week and it is basically like a time where you can come it's going to be a facebook group you join and we're going to do live workouts we're going to do q and a's i'm going to tell you a little bit about everything it's going to be so much fun um there are going to be giveaways and lots of fun stuff to win and experience so if you've been thinking about joining 3s but you aren't sure what it's all about or if you're confused as to what exactly it is and what makes it different this is going to show you all of that for one week all access pass totally free all you have to do is click the button below go join and the group will open up tomorrow so you'll be able to join that group first a week from Monday is when everything will start when we'll start the first week but I'm gonna give everybody like a week to join the group and all that fun stuff so click below go get on the email list and I will let you guys know when the group is open first thing tomorrow but it's gonna be really fun and I think if you've ever thought about online training even if it wasn't 3s fitness it's a great thing to come and experience because you're gonna get a full week of it totally free and a chance to take a look inside of it and see what we're all about so I will see See you guys all there. All right, enjoy this vlog. Good morning, sunshines. It is Sunday morning, and I am heating up one of the prepped meals. Um, this is the um, chocolate chip cheesecake protein French toast with chicken apple sausage. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. I have it in the microwave now. 1100 watt, one to two minutes. So I should be done in 40 seconds. And it has like the frosting and I just put that in like a bowl of hot water. So I will show you guys what it looks like and I'm going to heat up Tim's too and then we'll do a little taste test. Okay, so here are the details. You can see the ingredients. It's brioche bread, um, which has flour, butter, egg, salt, yeast, um, or gain, protein powder, cream cheese, sugar, um, confectioner sugar and chocolate chips and it's 420 calories it's 30 protein 16 fat and 39 carbs which actually is pretty good it's a little high in fat but that's because of the um, the icing I think um, let me try the icing right now mmm mmm it tastes kinda like a cream cheese icing so that's what it looks like it actually looks super yummy I'm gonna have a little taste of it okay here we go Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. It's a really good, like, protein icing. It doesn't taste like protein at all. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, now let's try the chicken apple sausage. Mm-hmm. A plus for me. Super good. I really want him to try it so I can get his opinion. But he's going to make his in a little bit actually because he's not super hungry. But I'm going to go eat this. Um, we'll get Tim's opinion later. Are you getting up to make yours? What? Or do you want me to make it? I think you'll be jealous when you see mine. Alright. Okay, so Tim's eating it now. What do you think? I'm not ready to be on camera. I need expert opinion. You look cute. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you do. What's your expert opinion on this meal? Uh, I give it four and a half swirly loops. Tim. Three unicorns and a rainbow. So it was pretty good then? Well, that's on a scale of 12 donkeys. <laughs> you weirdo. What are you doing? How is it really? Where are you looking? At the food. Oh. And good. at your face. I'm transitioning. Oh. You look so cute. Yeah. You do. Do you like it better than any of the icon meals you ate? Yeah, I generally like these meals better than all of those. By like how much? Mm. Be honest, Tim. 
12. Tim, don't give me any of your phony scales. <laughs> They're so much better, right? Let's be honest. They're good, yeah. They're actually good. Like, you would eat them again, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and with Icon, that was not the case. It was only... I would eat Icon again. Tim, no. <laughs> Have my same opinion, clown. <laughs> well, Tim's... I'm not even a picky eater. I literally eat everything. I was so surprised that you liked oh, yeah. it. Yeah. I just really hated Icon Meals a lot. I hated the way it tasted. There might be a hint of self-delusion here. I hated the packaging. No. No. -uh. Are we having a good Sunday morning? Now is your time, honey. Talk to the world. What do you want to tell them? Nothing. Okay. We're watching ESPN. No, we're not. We aren't? What are we watching? NBC Sports. We're watching NBC Sports. Goodbye. That is our decision on these meals. Much better. I actually couldn't finish it because it was so much food. Tim, are you going to finish mine? No. It's a lot, right? I mean, if you're not that hungry after it, I mean, that's a lot. All right. Bye. Hi, guys. So it is Sunday night, and Tim and I have just had a really nice, like, lazy kind of day. I actually got super sick yesterday after our live workout in the group, and after the video consultations that I did with my clients, I just was feeling really, really, really sick. I'm going to transition you guys up here. Hot mess express happening here, but I don't even care because it happens. You get sick. Um, I actually have felt pretty good this year, so... Um, I should still knock on wood, um, but I just, I don't know, it just hit me like yesterday all of a sudden, so um, I've been kind of down and out. I ended up sleeping, like today's Sunday, I ended up sleeping yesterday. Um, I was like resting, probably starting around 3.30 or 4, and then I fell asleep at like 4.30 and slept until almost 9, and then I woke up and I went back to bed around midnight. I like woke up at 8, um, but I was just like so tired and just feeling like, not good like achy and my head like my nose was stuffy but today it's really just like cold symptoms so super stuffy um like runny nose tons of sneezing like itchy nose a little bit of a cough so i took airborne um and i've been just kind of like chilling all day i literally haven't put pants on in like two days <laughs> Um, like for the half of yesterday and all day. Tim and I just got to like hang out to together today, um, which was really nice because honestly, like we don't get to see each other a lot during the week because um, we're both super busy and he has things a lot of times at night and he's been staying at work kind of late and I've been working late. Um, so anyway, it was really nice to just spend the day with him and the Tobes and um, so I am just going to try to fall asleep here. It's like 11.30, and I woke up this morning around 8.45, so I haven't even napped or anything today, um, but I've eaten, and I cleaned, and I, I definitely felt better this morning. The fact that, like, I wasn't achy and didn't feel, like, a little hot and cold, um, but I do have those, like, really annoying just cold symptoms, which I hate. I hate, like, the stuffy runny nose because I can't take um, nasal decongestants because of my anxiety. They give me, like, heart palpitations, so I can't take any, anything with, like, phenylephrine. Um, so I literally can't take any nasal decongestants, but I've used like Afrin and stuff like that. Um, and neti pot, although I didn't use my neti pot, I tried and I just like, I was like so stuffy. It just wasn't working. And so I just used the Afrin, which helps like immediately. It works super well. Um, so anyway, I literally was just updating you on my sickness. I don't even know why. I am supposed to get up at, to do a 6 a.m. cycle bar class and my sister-in-law is going and I told her that I was a little sick, but I was planning on going and... My motivation is like if you can't, if you don't go to a cycle bar class, um, you get a ten dollar charge. Even though I have like a monthly unlimited with them, they still charge you ten bucks. So if I'm really not feeling well, I won't go. But I really want to go, even if I'm just kind of like not riding as hard. Um, I just want to kind of like sweat it out. Um, a little bit and just like get my body moving so that's how i'm planning to start my day tomorrow so i will hopefully be filming that for you guys in the morning and tim plays basketball like he leaves here at like 5 30 to go to basketball in the morning on mondays and thursdays so hopefully that will just motivate me to get up and go i'm hoping i wake up and feel really good tomorrow i feel like the best i've felt right now my ears are finally unplugged they were super plugged up a couple hours ago but i've been drinking tea all day and airborne a little bit of gatorade but having bland food mostly. Um, 
because that's what I've been craving, but I've been eating well, like bananas, things like that, uh, rice, applesauce, toast, things like that, the bread diet. Um, so anyway, yeah. Um, listen to your body when you get sick. Don't push it too hard. Today was like the perfect like rest, chill day, and it did work out really well for me that it was on a Sunday. Usually that does not happen to me, and I get sick like right in the middle of the week, but um, this worked out great, so I could kind of just like chill and relax. So that's what I did today. That's why I didn't vlog too much, but um, we did do the prepped meal. I'll show you guys the French toast. I really wanted to do that. So yeah, that's the story, and I love you guys. I hope you had a fun Sunday, and um, that's it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Mwah. Good morning, sunshines. I look super creepy because I turned the light on in my car so that I could talk to you while I drive. It is a Monday morning and it's 5.35 a.m. and I'm on my way to Cycle Bar. I am feeling a lot better than I did yesterday. Um, definitely feel like normal cold symptoms, but I don't feel as bad as I did yesterday at all. Um, <coughs> so that's really good. I think I'm just gonna keep doing what I was doing and making sure that I'm feeding my body and that I'm drinking a ton of fluids. I drank so many fluids yesterday. It was ridiculous. I was peeing like every five minutes, but I think it's helping to kind of flush that out. So, and get lots of rest. So I only got probably about five hours of sleep last night because I, um, I got up at five and we went to bed super late. I don't know. I think, I don't know if it was because I napped early in the earlier the day before and I had kind of slept for basically like 10 hours on Saturday that was why it was hard for me to sleep last night but anyway I'm awake I made it and I woke up like super rested and ready to go today I'm ready to take on this week it's gonna be an awesome week I have a really fun day today I am I'm going to cycle bar this morning and my sister-in-law is actually gonna be there so I'm excited for that and um, then afterwards I'm heading home to make breakfast and get ready my goal for this week I kind of set some new goals for myself and I'm a really good intuitive eater if you guys have been watching this channel for a while you probably know that I generally intuitive eat I don't track my macros really harshly I've been in the industry tracking macros um, learning about food for basically like over 10 years and um, I just don't need to track as much on um, my body I really am able to tell when my body is hungry what it needs and when it's full um, and I'm very good at stopping when I'm full. Um, I don't, I'm not an overeater at all. I like barely, I never overeat. Um, I really don't even overeat like at the holidays, like Thanksgiving, because I know how I feel when I do. And um, my body just likes to eat what it wants and then stop. I never feel like I need to overeat. Um, all that jazz. So I've learned a lot of my body over the last 10 years. And I'm really good at intuitive eating. That being said, um, with the holidays, it does get a little kind of off track and sometimes I need a little bit of a reset. And when I need a little bit of a reset, when I feel like I've just kind of been eating a little bit more junk than I like to eat, maybe a little bit more sweets, um, maybe a little bit more carbs, and then I just feel like I'm not hitting my protein. That's really when I know. When I'm not hitting my protein or I don't feel like I'm getting enough protein for the day is when I need to reset by tracking my macros for a little while. So for the next eight weeks, I'm gonna be tracking my macros just as a reset to my body, just to re-familiarize myself with where my macros should be. Um, I will show you guys my macros a little bit later on. I put everything in my fitness pal last night, so everything's in there for me. Um, I am ready to go with all of my macros and most of my meals I have meal prepping to do today I'm probably gonna eat lunch out I think Tim is gonna come visit me at the office and um, we might eat lunch together today but I am prepping like healthier chicken parm tonight and then um, protein mac and cheese which are like protein mac and cheese is, like one of my favorite meals I'm gonna be eating that every day for lunch so and I also have some salmon that I'm probably gonna prep as well so I'm gonna do a little bit of that later today like I said I have a busy day that's the prepping is going to come tonight. Today I'm going back to the office. I have orientation there at 10 because I just signed up. As you guys know, if you watched my last vlog, if you didn't see it, go watch it. It will be linked below for you. Um, and a lot of you guys have actually been commenting on the length of my vlogs. And the reason that they're so long is because they're weekly. So it's a full week of my life in one vlog. And it's meant to be an episode. So um, I toyed with actually calling it something so that it would make it seem more like a series, like an episode. But then I just decided on a general title. So every week you're gonna get a video between 30 minutes and an hour from me that's like a weekly episode of my life. So that's why they're so long, but I know a lot of people watch them during cardio. So feel free, hopefully it'll make your cardio a little bit better and more exciting for you. So um, anyway, I'm almost at Cycle Bar right now. That's my little morning update. I just wanted to kind of give you a heads up about prepping for the week and all that fun stuff and my goals and kind of 
some things that have changed. So anyway, we are going to drive, finish driving to Cycle Bar, and I'm going to get my sweat on. And yes, I am wearing earmuffs, and yes, I know I do look bald. That's an exciting day for me. Hey guys. <laughs> Alright, I'm all ready for my day. I'm so excited. I'm heading to work right now, heading to the office. Um, and yeah, I got all ready, and I have looked the world's tiniest, but cutest bun. Yeah. I did the little half up bun thing. I was really feeling it today. I was like, well, I haven't done this in a while. I guess I'll try it again. Okay. So it is the car chronicles today. Um, apparently I'm only filming in the car today, <laughs> but, um, I don't even know what I want to talk to you guys about. I just was like, I'll just turn on the video and see what comes out. Um, I feel like I've already updated you guys on so much. I went super natural makeup today, which I know might not look kind of natural. I have quite a few blemishes, so I needed like a little bit more coverage than totally like tinted moisturizer coverage. Sorry, I had a weird notification pop up. Um, so I've been using that Tarte Guard that I showed you guys in my last video, tinted moisturizer, and then I use my Josie Marin Argon Vibrancy Foundation, which I love you guys. I have oily skin, like really crazy oily skin, but in the winter in Minnesota, in the winter everywhere else, it stayed combination, but in Minnesota, like the air here sucks all the moisture from my body it's like incredible so I'm putting on my oil like almost three to four times a day because my skin is just so dry so I'm loving that Josie Marin vibrancy foundation because it has that argon oil in it which is awesome so and I love that like glowy look also got a little highlight little Jaclyn Hill champagne pop you know kind of oh not sure I'll make up I'm wearing the NYX lip suede in soft spoken that is my favorite lip suede color it is so and I think it will look flattering on every skin tone. Like every skin tone, I think it'll look good on you guys. So if you want to pick that up, it's a really good one. Um, by the way, I've never addressed the mess in the back of my car and none of you guys have ever said anything. So maybe you haven't noticed, which would be awesome. But this is all stuff that Tim and I have um, are donating basically to Goodwill. I just haven't gone there to do it. Honestly, that's like a real thing. I just need to go and donate all of it. We have bins and bins and bins of stuff. And I'm actually going through all my workout clothes right now to donate those as well. Um, that was one of my New Year's things. I need to like get rid of half of my workout clothes because I just have way too many that I don't wear. Do you know when you look in your closet and you are going to pick out an outfit for the day and like nothing looks good? That's not how I feel about my whole workout wardrobe, but it's how I feel about half of it. And I felt that way for like a year. So I know half of it needs to go because some of it I just won't wear because I don't like it. It's especially some of it's gotten like old and it's just like kind of raggedy, which is why I don't like it. Um, so anyway, um, I'm heading to the office. Tim is going to come join me hopefully in a couple hours here after my orientation to kind of check it out and look at it um, and all that fun stuff. So I hope you guys are having a really good day and I will catch up with you when I do something interesting that's not in the car. So I just got done with video consults with my um, Get Lean Challenge members. I had a bunch tonight so I just finished up those and I'm going to have Kodiak cakes for dinner. I just prepped a bunch of Kodiak cakes tonight actually. Um, in between some consults so I'm gonna have these with some light cool whip and watch The Bachelor and maybe Tim and I will probably come on here and vlog about what we think about The Bachelor right Tim nope. yeah we gonna do it negative yeah we are don't flick that at me oh that didn't make it oh but it landed on the table um, yes yeah, so I'm really pumped up for The Bachelor I'm really excited about it I'm excited about these Kodiak cakes yeah so that's what's happening. I went to the gym. I did a leg day cardio this morning. My ears are all plugged up so I can't really hear. But that's a status update on Abby. So I'm going to go eat now and I will see you guys during The Bachelor. You guys, they're going on a date with the Backstreet Boys and I'm so jealous. Tim, are you jealous? I'm so excited to read myself. Yes, you are. Oh my gosh. And also, Corinne is completely crazy. Crazy. She's crazy. <laughs> They're going on the date with the Backstreet Boys. Burning Studios, and we see the Backstreet Boys rehearsing with Nick, and we're like, holy crap. Good morning, sunshines. We continue with the Car Chronicles with Abby. So I didn't really vlog for you guys yesterday, and it was because I just was feeling terrible. I told you guys I was sick, and I was feeling a lot better on Monday, but then um, when I woke up on Tuesday, I was feeling, excuse me, so much worse. 
And then gradually over the day yesterday, I felt like I was getting a little bit better. And then I woke up today, which is Wednesday, and feel terrible. Like my ears are so plugged up and they're really starting to hurt. Um, and I'm worried about like an ear infection, if that could be a possibility, or if it's gotten, or if it is a sinus infection, like my throat is, is all funny and hurts and my nose, it's just like a little bit of everything. And I'm exhausted. I know that that's like, I need to get rest cause it's like a cold or whatever, but, um, I'm just really, 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 really tired. And so anyway, I'm caving and I'm going to the doctor right now. I have an appointment at nine o'clock there. Um, I don't like to go to the doctor. I mean, reason I'm going, oh my gosh, that's so annoying, is because I want to make sure I don't have an ear infection because my ears are starting to hurt so bad and I'm almost feeling dizzy from the pressure in my ears. Um, and so I just want to make sure that there's not like an infection there that they actually need to take care of, that it is viral, whether it's sinus or ear or whatever. Um, so maybe this will help, kind of. But anyway, I'm on my way to the doctor now and then I'm probably planning to go, I want to go to the gym and get a lift in. Sorry, this is shaking like crazy. I want to go to the gym and get a lift in, but I'm not sure. I'm going to update you guys on how I'm feeling and what the doctor says after. So we're going to go do that and I will see you guys later. I'm home from the doctor and looking a hot mess per usual, but I'm getting ready to shower. I just wanted to update you guys on what the doctor said. So basically she said that um, they actually can't diagnose a sinus infection if it's between until it's uh, like 10 to 14 days. So she said everything like looks good. I definitely have a viral like infection or whatever going on or I don't know like a virus like a cold virus but um she told me that it was still good that I came in because she gave me a bunch of things to do to prevent it from turning into a sinus infection because basically like I'm right in that window um, where I am like susceptible to it. So she wants me to take ibuprofen because my throat like back towards my throat um, is a little bit swollen and then I have swelling in my nose. My ears are pretty clear, she said though, so that's good. Um, but she wants me to use a neti pot. Um, the saline will help prevent infection. And then also taking ibuprofen, um, 240 milligrams three times a day, um, just to kind of help with swelling and inflammation, which I actually didn't even think about. I should have, um, but I haven't been taking it. And I honestly, I took my first dose and like two hours later, I could feel the swelling in the back of my throat um, going down a little bit, so that was good. Um, it's not like my throat is swelling closed or anything. Um, I'm like saying it wrong, but it's that like uvul uvular or whatever it's called back there that is swelling a little bit and it's just a little bit inflamed. She was like, there's not like any major swelling, so you don't need steroids or anything like that. Um, I really liked this doctor a lot and appreciated her giving me some good ideas to help prevent the infection from happening. So I'm trying to be a good patient, but I did go to the gym actually after. I know it sounds super counterintuitive, but it's really like up in my head and face. So I don't want to do anything that's going to like put a ton of strain on my body, but I got my lift in and I did 35 minutes of incline walking, which felt really good. I needed to get out of the house and move around a little bit more so I have some video consultations today so I'm gonna go shower and get ready for those um, and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit I don't have anything super exciting going on the next few days should be a little bit more fun um, but I don't have anything like crazy to tell you guys or that I'm doing because I've been kind of sick so hopefully we get something exciting happening right Tobes Toby be exciting for the people because I'm not are you are so happy because mama's home Mama's home. She's not at the office because she's sick. I know I do. I really miss the office. I wish I was there for sure. But um, I am just trying to rest, and I don't want to get anybody else sick. I'm going to hopefully for sure be there tomorrow pretty much all day. I'm going to cycle bar in the morning. That's my plan unless I feel really sick. Um, but uh, I think I'm going to be planning to go there and Probably going to lift before Cycle Bar and then go to Cycle Bar and then go to Coco and it'll be really fun. Coco is the name of my office, by the way. That's probably how I'll refer to it. So, all right, I'm going to go shower and get ready for the day at 2.30 in the afternoon <laughs> and I will see you guys later. Good morning, sunshine. It is Thursday morning and I was, as you know, at home all day yesterday 
not at the office because I was really not feeling well. Um, and last night I like, could not breathe at all through my nose. It was driving me nuts. I was doing everything, neti pot, everything it wasn't working. But I feel a little bit better today. I definitely am able to actually blow my nose today, which is nice. Um, so I'm going to Cycle Bar right now. I'm riding from 9 to 10 today. It's 8.30 right now. So um, I should be there in like 5 or 10 minutes and then um, hop on a bike and get going. And I'm really excited. It's Cecily, who I love. I love this instructor. She is super awesome. And then I'm going to go home and get ready for the day and head to Coco. And um, I might be able to film a little bit because I did book one of the meeting rooms today um, because I have some calls to do. And so uh, I booked one of the really cool, um, they're all really cool, but this one is called the theater. And so I'm going to take a little video of it and give you a little bit of a tour. And um, yeah. And I might be able to like film a little bit of Coco. We'll see um, what I can get for you guys. But it's going to be a fun day of work there. I'm really excited. Um, I haven't been there in two days and I miss it. And I miss the chili cook-off because they had it yesterday. Also, I have very exciting news. On January 31st, we're having a puppy party. You guys. Oh my God. It's like, this is like my dream. They're bringing in 12 puppies. 12 puppies. All of them are adoptable. And they're puppies. And they're bringing them in to like play and snuggle and hang around at the office all day. And you can adopt them. So I'm probably going to get a new puppy because I told him, I was like, if you want me to not get a puppy, you're going to need to take the whole day off work. It's a Tuesday and supervise because I'm going to come home with a puppy. There is no way that's not going to happen. So I'm so excited. Guys, 12, it's like literally my heaven. It's my heaven. And Renee, <clears throat> I told Renee about that, my community manager, and she sent me a meme that was like, Disney World should have a 101 Dalmatians ride where you sit in a room and there are 101 Dalmatian puppies in there to play with you. <laughs> and I was like, yes, I would. that's where I would live all day. Um, so anyway, I'm very excited for the puppy party. Um, I may go to agriculture and not get a smoothie, but get a juice to see if I can get a little boost in my immune system. Um, I don't know. I'm really trying to avoid that sinus infection. I don't know if it's going to happen. I'm not like feeling, it's weird because I don't feel like, I don't feel a lot worse. I just feel different. Like I feel it's like moving down my throat and my ears hurt this morning again. And I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed for me, guys. Fingers crossed. All the good vibes, except by the time you see this, well, hopefully it'll be better. Maybe, maybe subconsciously, you know, I need good vibes. There is so much traffic, you guys. There is literally never traffic on this road. But the, I don't know if there's an accident or something, but like the traffic's insane. Like I'm on a normal like back road. It takes me five minutes to get to the cycle bar. I've been in the car for 15. This is so weird. I don't know what's happening. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna go. The sun is out today, it's very exciting. And um, I will see you guys in a little bit. You can tell I'm feeling a little bit better actually because I have a lot more energy. I'm definitely not as tired as I have been the last couple of days, which is really good. All right, good morning, my sunshines. I just went to Cycle Bar and it was bomb, you guys. This, it is Friday freaking morning. And I just went to Cycle Bar, and it was fantastic. It was my best class I've ever, ever, ever ridden. It was my best class, and there were 25 people, and I rode second place in my class. I got second place. I burned four over 400 calories. I rode 17 miles. It was, I mean, like literally off the charts, best class I've ever ridden. I don't know why, but my usual resistance for um, a, a normal like five for me was an eight or nine today. I just felt so strong and so good and I was cruising. Oh my gosh, it just like, it made me, it made my whole day. I feel so good and I'm not even, my legs aren't even that dead. Now I'm sure they will be in like an hour. <laughs> but I'm on my way home, I'm gonna shower, get ready for the day and then I'm heading to the office to work. I got some cycle bar gear, I will put it on. I'm actually gonna wear it today for like a little casual Friday. Um, I gave myself a little treat for getting second place in my class. Woo -woo. So uh, I'm gonna wear that today. I'm really excited about it. So I'm gonna go home, get ready, head to the office, and then I'm going to a meeting room space. I know that I did not show you guys the meeting room space yesterday. I'm really sorry about that. Long story short, I took Toby to work with me, which you know if you watch my Snapchat, that I took Tobes, but 
he was so excited because there are so many people at this office that work there and he was just like wanted to say hi to everybody and I knew that we just had to wait it out for an hour because I had a meeting room booked which is like a private room so that I could do some other stuff that I was working on and so we waited it out and then we went into the room and I was like I let Toby loose to walk around and he just sat at the door to the meeting room and cried and just whined he was just like and I was like, buddy, what do you want? And I know that he just wanted to go out and be around people because he doesn't, like when there's a party going on, like Toby has really bad FOMO, guys, like really bad FOMO. I don't even have bad FOMO, so I don't even know where he gets that from. But he has aggressive FOMO. So whenever there's something going on, he has to be involved. And he could not be involved in the party going out there because we were in the meeting room. So I ended up having to cancel all the meeting room time I had booked for yesterday and take him home. And I actually had a super terrible day. Um, so I didn't vlog for you guys. I was just really feeling down. Um, there are a couple things like going on and <clears throat> anyway, it just wasn't a very good day for me. So I went and worked from home and it was fine. I just needed to like get Toby out of there. So I did that. And then, um, Tim and I watched Homeland and just vegged and chilled and I made pizza fit my macros. And I was really proud of that. Um, because I desperately wanted pizza last night and I, yeah, I don't know. I woke up feeling like a whole new day. A new opportunity to have a great day and I'm really excited about today obviously psycho bar went super well to start my day plus I did it with my friend Ashley and we went over to agriculture which if you guys watched last week's vlog you saw that I got a smoothie there that I really didn't like so I got a juice day we both got the refresher which is pineapple watermelon and ginger and I was hoping that the ginger would help with my sickness I'm feeling the best I felt knock on freaking everything in a week and um, I'm just like my throat is just still like inflamed and a little bit like that it's a little bit swollen um, <laughs> but it doesn't like hurt <coughs> that much it's hard to explain but my stuffiness is finally going down and yeah so I'm hoping that that ginger will help with my sickness a little bit I also got coffee for the first time in about two weeks because um, coffee is kind of hard on my um, my system like my throat and my stomach and I don't like to drink it when I'm sick I've been drinking tea mostly but I wanted to have a little coffee today which literally just spilled everywhere way to go Abby way to go um, but anyway I got coffee you guys I'm like a spaz today what is happening I'm like a complete spaz I'm just excited because my friend Ashley I, she was gone for a week and I really missed her and now she's back and we rode together this morning it was really fun and then um, and then we got these and it got coffee and it's just gonna be a really great day and um, Tim has a really good day planned for him today at work that he's excited about and tonight last night I was like Tim what do you want to do tomorrow night and he was like recover because he's had a long week and he's been at work really late and um, I think he just wants to like veg and watch Homeland Tim doesn't like to binge watch shows very much fun fact like he doesn't like to binge watch shows that are still on TV I should clarify because he needs to be able to watch them all the way through like that's a thing and so like we binge watched the first couple seasons of Blacklist um, because I'd already seen them but Tim wanted to watch them this was like a year ago and now we haven't watched it since because he just like doesn't he loses interest in it that's what happens so he's like I need to be able to watch it all the way through or I lose interest and I don't care anymore so, uh, which is literally the opposite of me so <clears throat> Anyway, we've started Homeland and we finished the first season last night and um, I like it because it's 12 episodes so it's super manageable. manageable. Um, we've watched like two a night and we just finished it, we started it like a week and a half ago I think. So um, it's just like our time to kind of relax and hang out with each other and um, because Homeland's kind of complicated, I am not really working while I'm watching it which is nice because usually I work all night and Tim is just like, what are you going to pay attention to me over here? Um, but I don't know it's been really fun I love it when Tim gets into a show it's like my favorite because he doesn't do it very often and so the fact that he, he like started Homeland without me and he got three episodes in and I was like are you kidding me we've talked about watching this so many times and you started it without me Tim not cool dude not cool so then I went back and watched the first two episodes and watched and I've watched it with him since but um, but yeah so we have Homeland hopefully we'll watch tonight and just kind of hang out and chill I think that's what he wants to do and he has a kind of a busy weekend actually and I have a busy weekend too but it's like busy but relaxing like we have just normal stuff like he coaches a baseball camp on Sundays um, for four hours and I have my live workout and video consultations tomorrow on Saturday and then Sunday I'm hanging out with one of my friends Emma 
So we have like plans, but also uh, like plenty of time to relax and hang out. So, uh, car chronicles, you guys, that's what these should be called because I'm pretty sure I have only vlogged in the car. I just got a new haul of workout clothes from Fabletics and Free People that I desperately wanted to haul show you guys, but I don't know when I'm going to film that. I don't know why I haven't done it yet. I've had it for a week and they're all in their packaging because I'm like, Abby, you're not allowed to wear them until you film the try on haul. But of course I haven't done it yet. So maybe once I go home and get ready and shower for the day, I'll film that for you guys. If not, I'll film it for you tomorrow for sure. So, uh, because I really want to show you guys this stuff from Free People. It is so cute. So cute. Um, but Free People's got kind of funky sizing. We'll talk more about that when I try everything on. But I am about a couple blocks from home. I'm going to go shower, take care of this like hot mess express happening. Probably make a protein shake because I've been drinking those like every day. Um, after my workout, even though I'm having a juice, this doesn't really have, this doesn't, well, doesn't really have, doesn't have any protein in it. So, um, I'll probably shower and then make that and I've been drinking it while I'm getting ready for the day. But my goal is I need to be at Coco by 10 because I have meeting room space blocked today. So. same form it's just in two different places so um, whatever is easiest for you guys there you go I just wanted to put that little disclaimer out there just finished a cycle bar workout it is Saturday morning look at my face do you see my face right now oh my gosh this is the bathroom well the shower I'm gonna take a shower and then go get my nail fixed and then talk to some clients. And I'm gonna show you guys Coco, finally. I'm gonna give you the actual tour. My hand, do you guys see the camera shaking? My hand is shaking so bad right now. Oh my God. Everything hurts. Okay, we just got sunshine bowl and a banana berry. Acai bowl. This place is called agriculture and it's super 
delicious. Hi guys, so I am at Coco and just ignore my Hot Mess Express. I had a live workout with my clients this morning and then I had, I went to Cycle Bar and did 15 minutes of that literally right after and now I'm like kind of dying. I ate that delicious breakfast from agriculture um, that I showed you guys. It was that sun, I think it was called the Sunrise Bowl. It was so good. Like I want to eat that every day. I need to make that at home. Like it was amazing so good um, so I inhaled it I got my nail fixed because my nail had chipped and I got a color change my friend Ashley and I went and now I'm doing calls with my clients um, but I have a little bit of time and so I am finally gonna tour you around Coco show you around Coco I'm so excited because I have been telling you guys that I'm gonna do this every day and every day I've been failing because I brought Toby to work and he was misbehaving so I had to take him home so I couldn't show you that meeting room it was just kind of a disaster, but we're gonna go ahead and walk around and I'm gonna show you guys my new office and I'm so excited. Happy Saturday. I'm so glad it's Saturday. It's a really fun day. I've had a really, really great morning actually. I'm super tired, but it's been a really great morning and I love being here. Nobody is here. Okay, so I'm still gonna be really quiet as I walk around just in case someone's hiding. I don't want them to be freaked out, but yeah. Right now, I don't see anybody. All right, let's go look. Okay, so this is the meeting room I'm in first. It's called the greenhouse. And it looks like this. Every um, room has like Apple TV and Chromecast and all that fun stuff so you can hook everything up. But I'm in here because I'm doing calls with my clients. It's super rustic in here and I love it. Because these doors are so cool. Okay, so this is where you walk in. I don't think anyone's here. So it's like underground kind of. The CVS is up there. It's like right above us and that's the street. So you come down here and then you have to check in. And this is where my friend Erin said she's the best. Um, and then they have all these tables and you, if you have a membership, you can work from any of these tables. Um, like any place in here, they have plugs everywhere galore. They have their printing station, all that fun stuff. Um, little couch area, lockers to store stuff. You just rent one monthly. And then that's like the full kitchen. We'll come back to that. But, and they have just all this, oh, I love it so much. These like benches. Coffee and tea bar. Drop-in area. Designated desks over here. And then those on the far wall are called campsites. And that's what like, companies rent them out for like four or more people. And then back here, it's called the garage. And this garage door comes down. You can actually rent this space out. Um, but it has like, it's like the quiet area. It has like movie theater seats and more tables and stuff. All that fun stuff. So we'll walk back towards the kitchen. I love how they have like these park benches. And it's all like reclaimed wood and these campsites have like, they're like super rustic looking. <clears throat> these are called like the phone booths. And this is where you can go and take like a call during the day. Um, and these are the lockers. And then this big table here, we have our water cooler, and we have two fridges and a full kitchen, like everything, basically. Whose food is that? Am I allowed to eat one of those? <laughs> oh, pretty. Yeah, so that's the space, guys. We'll go back into my meeting room. This is called the greenhouse, and it's like the most popular meeting room that they have a lot of people really like this one. So, I might run up to CVS and get a little food and then come back down here and I think I'm gonna read. I am reading this here, which yes, I know you've seen and I still haven't finished, but I got a decent, I read like 100 pages of it last night and I love it, I'm super into it now. I might just have to like get into it and so I really wanna read this, so I'm gonna read that. My next call is in like 40 minutes. So I'll see you guys later.